Welcome back everybody. I hope you're enjoying this fine summer evening. The day looked like this for much of it. These scattered fair weather cumulus clouds kind of flittering about there, never developing into much. There was some rain late last night, very early this morning, but really during the day, nothing. And then out of the Oregon coast, a great sunset. Notice the wind still blowing the clouds from south to north or southwest to northeast, indicating we still have some pretty good onshore flow. That keeps us from getting too warm, but that is going to change over the weekend. We did manage to make 80 today, which is spot on average for this date. 76 in McMinnville, 75 in Kelso over in Hood River, 79. We had 87 in Hermiston for one of the hot spots in Oregon, 83 in Bend, and then 97 in Ontario. And yes, there will be 90s in Western Oregon come Monday and Tuesday, but not 97. I think it'll be cooler than that. We look at the big picture here. We still have this area of cool air and low pressure that's been along the coast here for several days. That's why it's been keeping us cool all week long and why we've had the showers coming and going. This is finally moving north and getting out of the way, and that's going to allow warmer air to push on into the northwest. So there'll be quite the change coming our way. Hey, quick check on the tropics for you. This is Hurricane Bonnie, which is weakening now. You can see the, the satellite imagery is showing it kind of const, uh, constricting and getting smaller there. We'll have to keep our eyes on this blob of cloud here that could become tropical storm Darby in the days ahead. But right now it's all about Bonnie down to a category two. It'll be a category one in a day or so and then weekend become a tropical depression and continue to move harmlessly out to sea. Meanwhile, back here in the northwest tomorrow, a lot like today, although I don't think it's going to be quite as cloudy in the morning. We'll have some low cloud cover in the morning. Then it breaks up. End up with a beautiful day up around 80 Saturday scattered clouds coming through, but no big deal. Potentially some thunderstorms on the east side. We'll have to watch that and then Sunday it clears out and Monday it heats up. Notice the wind arrows are pouring out of the north at the coast and out of the northeast inland, indicating that offshore flow that is pretty much required to get really hot weather here in the northwest and it's going to happen on Monday and Tuesday, but already by Tuesday morning even you see the marine layers back on the coast poised to push inland and end our little mini heat wave at two days. So low 90s for a couple days, then it cools back into the 80s and still no rain in the forecast after that. By the hour, 66 at 10 a.m. will be in the 70s by noon and the clouds break up. You can see we ended up with quite a bit of sunshine later on during the day and get up to about 80 degrees for tomorrow's high temperature. It is 67 right now in Portland in the freezing level at 10,300 feet. On the Oregon coast, it's going to be a good weekend, partly sunny for your Friday and then clearing off. Should be really nice in the afternoon on the beaches and high temperatures getting up near 70 at Astoria and Pacific City. In the valleys, partly sunny tomorrow, have some patchy morning clouds, but then a lot like today, temperatures a lot like today, up around 80, 81 degrees. Up in the Cascades, partly to mostly sunny, 60 at Timberline, 66 at Government Camp. If you're camping this weekend, you'll have great weather. It's going to begin to warm up on Sunday especially. Mostly sunny, central and eastern Oregon, 88 in Pendleton, but 83 in Bend after morning lows in the 50s, so really perfect weather there. And in the gorge, partly sunny west, mostly sunny east, about 80 in Cascade Locks, but 86 in the Dalles, heating up a bit there. We'll make 80 again tomorrow. We'll just call it partly sunny. Some patchy clouds in the morning, then a really beautiful day. Same thing Saturday, 81. Sunday is clear at 83. Then there's the bump up to 93 on Monday and about 92 Tuesday before that cooler air pushes in. We'll see high temperatures in the 80s after Tuesday of next week. And we will be back right after this.